Hey ladies, it's your recruiter, Diane O'Brien. We're on a free Friday. And as promised, I brought you to beautiful St. Pete Beach, Florida for the winter. We're middle of January and a lot of you are back home um, in the Northeast, I call home. And a lot of you ladies are from that area, but wherever you are, um, if you're watching this podcast, I have palm trees in the background for you. I was gonna take you for a walk on the beach, but I had my dog with me and then um, it decided this would be easier for today. But what I wanna do um, this free Friday on, and I'll still send this out as a podcast, a lot of you as well, um, is a follow-up to the last podcast I did talking about um, handling pressure. And, and I kind of um, did a little funny uh, story about boundaries that I set up for myself and how I handle objections and, doing, and setting those boundaries with clients, especially new clients, but even old clients. Um, so that you can, you know, relieve all that pressure that comes in when you have a business from home. All of us ladies were moms, were wives. You know, you have um, your whole social life and friends and life. You want to live first, and this business again is to fuel that, not the other way around. You want your business to serve you. I don't think you should be serving your business, right? So it should really be built around your lifestyle. Um, and this is a perfect backdrop to explain that. Um, and as far as the whole setting boundaries, I know a lot of you made some comments when I sent out. Um, that private podcast about when I had a client that wanted me to jump on Zoom video um, very quickly. And I was all, you know, snuggled up in my sunroom back home. It was cold out. Um, I didn't want to get ready. I didn't want to put a bra on was the thing I said, right? I actually said that to him and he laughed. It was a joke and <laughs> it didn't come across like it could have came across, um, you know, but I think he just understood that, look, we have to, I have a schedule I have to keep. And just because I'm sitting here lounging in my sun porch um, working on searches for you or whatever project I'm working doesn't mean I'm not jumping on a video that I'm not working, right? And I think all you ladies back home now, a lot of you are home because of COVID. So you haven't experienced this like working from home and where those boundaries should be. I'll tell you, I think employers will take full advantage of you um, in the same way people and women and men, but men out in life would take advantage of women if they can out in the workplace. So, you know, we're used to guarding ourselves as women and putting boundaries up and guards up um, out in our social life when you're out in the world meeting people, especially as women, we meet men and you're out and about the world traveling. Um, but I don't think a lot of you seem to know how to put those boundaries in corporate. You can set those boundaries with your boss or bosses. Um, and sometimes, you know, when you set those boundaries and they don't respect them, that's when you have to go. I've left positions where I was consulting or even working for someone doing very well. Everything's been great. But when I said, hey, I need this and they couldn't give that to me, usually it was always I need to be from home more, right? Um, some clients over the years have brought me into an office um, just in the beginning. And then later, usually after I perform for them, they're totally fine with me being remote. But I've had clients that kind of still almost like the trust wasn't there. They didn't. They, I would be remote for a day and they'd be calling on those, like making sure I was working or wanting video on. And that's, that's not the relationship you want to be in. It's not a personal relationship you want to be in. And it's definitely not a business relationship. So trust, just like on the personal side, is the name of the game. And once you attract the clients that trust you, you can show up wherever you are. You know, um, Certain clients would laugh with me and love that um, I made jokes about not wanting to get dressed with makeup on or, you know, for this call. I mean, literally, I just came from walking my dog. So I have like workout gear. I threw a blazer on because it was a new client call I just had a little while ago. Um, so it's, you know, but if I was a client already working with, I would show up in my workout gear, right? And, um, and you know, some of this might seem like not news to you. I know, especially when I talk to a lot of you millennials, you show up like looking like you caught out of bed. <laughs> And so I never recommend that. I just feel like it would be somewhat put together. Um, professionally speaking, I think it is important. However, again, the boundaries that you make, um, you know, when you set those times for business, that's when you're dressed for business and you make that work within your lifestyle. You know, when I'm done my calls I had this morning with my corporate clients, and then when I'm done doing this um, free Zoom with you ladies um, to answer those questions, and today's being about boundaries. Um, you know, this will go on for a half hour day. It's a little afternoon, what, 1230 now, Eastern time. So I'll be done this in within 20 minutes and I'll be able to take this blazer off and um, probably put in a bathing suit, you know, and head to the beach. And what's been fantastic for me, the more boundaries I set in my life, um, the more rewards seem to come, the better clients I get. They seem to respect and know, like, if, for instance, if you have a call often with new clients, right, you'll have a call scheduled 
and let's say it's firmed up for you know 10 a.m. Eastern on a Friday, and um, often you know things happen. People need to reschedule, and a lot of CEOs they're running late, and you know they need to reschedule. So I've gotten very used to that. However, it doesn't mean it needs to infringe on your time. Granted, when we're going after a big deal, um, you know we'll kind of let all of that drag along. Um, but you have to kind of set the tone early that letting them know that oh you know you missed that meeting, but that that was the only hour slot I had. Let's reschedule for next week. Um, don't just let them then call you whenever and take up your time if you have other plans, even if they're personal. And I know that's hard because I personally still struggle with that where if I missed, um, if I was put up for a meeting and a new client or client missed the call and they can't do it till like later that afternoon, you know, I do want to try to serve them. Um, and in the past, I would just completely cancel all my plans and just work on their schedule because they're my client, right? But now later in life, I realized like, no, if I have personal plans, just meet a friend at two, I'm not going to cancel that, right, for this high paying client anymore. Um, and so there's plenty of time in the schedule next week that they can then have another chance to show up with you at a time that works for the both of you. Um, so, you know, even though I speak to flexibility and I get at different times of your career, you are more thirsty and hungry and you do bend over a little more backwards, you know, um, when you're trying to build your business. But if you can at least have this mindset, ladies, that this is where you need to get to, and then when you have enough clients flowing in, you're not going to feel that pressure to kind of have to just be on call all the time when you're first new in a business and starting out and the client just run the show. It's like when the business runs the show or if you get a new database and the database is like your master, you're like living in the freaking matrix, like even that, get off the computer. I do these Zooms when I have to. Um, I'm on my cell the rest of the time. I'm not in front of my computer anymore, even when I'm doing... Uh, my searches, I'm on there minimally to do the hard searches. And I have, I, since I find the people after so many hours doing that and only set hours each day, ladies, remember it's a little bit at a time jumping in the matrix and having to search or be on any of your database or LinkedIn, wherever you're using. Um, but then the rest is all phone calls and conversation, right? Like face-to-face -face was great. And now of course it's the, the video, but um, business and all that stuff is done just from the energy that you're exchanging. And that can happen just on the phone, wherever you are. I do business now from restaurants, you know, or from the beach or from here, from my sun porch. It doesn't have to even, I don't even care about making it look professional anymore, right? Like I used to have to make sure, you know, it always kind of in my office if I could, but I do my meetings now from my sun room for all of the times so it's from here up <laughs> and um, from the sun porch here um, or wherever I am. So business can kind of, again, fit your life, but you are in control of putting those boundaries in. Stop blaming the clients or how they're calling you at this time and that time. Well, whose fault is that, right? You create the boundaries. I don't work in the evenings. I've never, I mean, I wouldn't say ever. There were times I did work in the evenings when I was desperate. I, I tell you, at those times, I wasn't getting anywhere with it. I remember where I worked the hardest, I made the least money and I was putting the most hours. So if you can find a way to break, do those boundaries and just work really hard in the time you give yourself. And I tell you, if you set smaller amounts of time to get something done, like when I have a search I'm working, not have one first quarter, an executive search, um, you know, it's a couple hours a day. I'm really drilled into it. And then that's it, right? And then I have the next day. Later in the afternoon, I'm taking phone calls, but that's fun. I'm talking to people I like to talk to, learning about their lives, seeing if they're a fit. But the stuff that, you know, when I'm really just kind of zoned in and focused on the search, um, I'm really careful because I get more done when I have a set hour or two, maybe three hours max. I'm not like spending a whole day or week searching. Um, so I hope that's helpful because boundaries in life, obviously are necessary, but in business, they're going to get you where you want to go faster. You just need those guardrails so you can stay in your lane, go straight and stay focused. So that's it on building boundaries. I hope that'll also help with the last podcast I did um, in helping feelings of overwhelmment. Because again, if you get your boundaries in place, you won't feel so overwhelmed. And I had to remind myself as I was doing that podcast, even that feeling of overwhelmment, it's a little bit of a lack of gratitude, right? And sometimes you get that lack of gratitude when you're spinning out of control because you don't have the boundaries. So as soon as you like get centered with yourself and um, have on your calendar, like I always have my calendar, even the hard copy still, I know how I want my week to look and it's all filled with fun and free time first. And then I put in my work, you know, um, and then my conversations. So everything is flowing around a life that I want because I could die tomorrow. I'm not wasting it. Um, and I think we should have that mindset, no matter if you're starting your business or you've already reached the top of your career and you only have to be doing your business anymore, but now it's fun. But if you can have that mindset of the fun now, ladies, for you 20s and 30 year olds that are starting recruiting or those of you starting a recruiting business, it will serve you. So follow my lead on that. I promise it'll help. 
So uh, happy free Friday, ladies. Oh my gosh. Um, and maybe next free Friday, sign up if you want to get on the Zoom call. I'll send out to the list that didn't make this call today. But if you want to be live or have a question like this, how I instill boundaries in my day, um, what that kind of looks like, email me at hello at headhuntinghousewives.com. Or of course, you can find me on LinkedIn. Um, you can shoot a question there and I'll answer that for you live here on Fridays. So hoping that's helping your business. Happy hunting, ladies. First quarter hiring season, lots of money to be made. So um, go get it. and. I'll talk to you later. Bye.